today's video, I'm going to share with you how I prepare for my website in a week service. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you have not been here before, thank you so much for being here. I now have timestamps on every video to save you time because I know we are all really busy people. So if you want to jump ahead to any portion of the video, please feel free to do that. But if you're wondering why I have this chair next to me, that is because Leo has decided to take over my desk chair. And luckily we have another one. So I just dragged over my boyfriend so he can relax with us in this video. So if you see a little random black blob moving, that is Leo. So welcome to my channel. I'm super excited to jump into today's video and talk with you all about how I prepare for my website in a week service. So as some of you probably know, I recently launched this service this year. It's pretty new to me, but I have had about 10 different website in a week projects and each one of them has taught me something different and I learned so much every single time. So I wanted to share with you in this video the preparation form and exactly what I like to ask my clients so I know that when the week comes, I will be able to make it happen and I won't have any stress about missing information. But I also wanted to let you guys know that I just created a page on my website with different links for all the Black Friday sales going on right now because I know it can be overwhelming, but if you've been wanting to invest in some tools for your design business or just want to see the tools that I use, I have that page with everything listed out so you can go directly and see the sale that's going on right now with black friday i know that i want to invest in divi pixel because that is an add-on that you can use on wordpress to make really awesome custom like menus navigation just really up level your wordpress page so if you want to go check out all those tools i have them listed on that page and I also have a coupon code for my courses, which that sale will be starting on Black Friday. So go check that out. I wanted to make it easy and not super overwhelming because I know it can be really overwhelming when there's all these different sales going on. I wanted to share with you guys what's in this form. I created this completely on my own, just through my experience and through kind of understanding what it is I need for a website design. So first things first, I need this form filled out at least two to three weeks before the project starts. That is like a requirement for me. And I like to make sure that as soon as we book this client that they get this form so they can start working on it. And in this form, I do have questions that might take them some time. So that's why it's important to send it to them as soon as you possibly can. The first question in this form is just to kind of get them excited, add some more personality to the form. So I ask them, what are you most excited excited about for your new website and there's different choices like to feel more official have a place for customers to go and for it all to come together visually so they can select all of that just to kind of get them thinking and excited about what it is they invested in and then the second question is please list five pages you absolutely want on your website so that is home about contact services this question is crucial because sometimes a client will add in like a shop page and I'm like, but we did not discuss like shop at all. So I just want to like make sure we're on the same page and we know exactly what this project's for and what it's about. Um, I would likely have all that information on the discovery call with them and on that initial like kickoff call. But this question just solidifies everything. And so I know when I'm designing what pages I need to be working on. So the next question is, do you have the files to your current logo or any brand materials, colors, fonts, etc.? So I actually do require my clients to have branding to book this service, but if they don't, if they have a logo, but they don't have like a color palette, occasionally I will add that into the package and just help them create like a website color palette and like maybe a website font palette, but that does have to be part of the package price. But I just like to get this question to make sure that they have their logo files, like they have the PNG file or they have those different formats of the logo so I can use it throughout the website. So they can either select yes or I don't. And then next to the I don't response, I have, I can pick out colors for your website, but a logo is needed and can always be updated later. So I really try to, when I initially talk to my clients, I really try to push them to have professional branding because I think sometimes clients have branding that maybe they created or that they got from Canva or something. And I just have to educate them and let them know that that can't be used 
commercially all the time and just like make sure that they know what their branding can do for them. Um, and a lot of times they will want the branding added on. So I do have to do the branding first. So I want them to know that part of the process on that initial discovery call. But if they do have their files, I do have a question where they can go upload them into the Google Drive. And I basically just link that on the form here. So they can click it, go upload. Question, do you have photos that I can use on your new website? The responses are, yes, I have some. No, let's use stock photos. And then I also have another hyperlink right below that that says, if you do have pictures, go paste them here. Um, and that is another Google Drive folder that I specifically make for my clients. Um, and then do you have, also for the photos, because I know I get questions on this a lot, I do pick out the photos for them. And this is something that I typically like to include in the price too, because all of that is your time. Going and finding and curating nice looking pho photography is part of the service. And I feel like as a designer, we have that visual eye to know which photos are gonna work best. So don't be afraid to charge for that as well. Next question is, do you have text or content that I can use on the website? So these are just questions that I want to make sure they have a place to go upload it. And if they don't have any text or content, then I typically have them use my copywriter and I'll just refer them to them. And this is why I like to have a good amount of time before receiving this form so that we can use those three or four weeks or more to go plan out the content, the photos and all of that so that when that week comes, we're not scrambling to get everything done. So do you have text or content that I can use on the website? There's responses like, yes, no, let's use placeholder text, which is just like Latin text, like lorem ipsum. There's a website where you can just go copy that placeholder text. Sometimes that works. And especially if they do wanna use my copywriter, but if she isn't available until after we make the website, I always let them know that me and the copywriter can work directly. We could just plug in that content later on as well. It just might affect like the launch date of when everything can be live. Um, but there's another place for them to go upload the content. And then I also have a web content planner, which I've been working on a little more, but if my clients just can't afford a copywriter right now, I allow them to write their own copy, but I have this planner which helps them mentally think through like which content needs to be on which pages. So I do have that planner. I'm still working on it. It's not perfect. That's why I haven't shown you guys at all, but that is kind of a nice option to have. Next question is what contact information do you need and want listed on the website? So this is also important because when it comes to the contact page, if they need like a integrated form. Like for me, I use Dubsado and I have that form integrated onto my contact page. So if they have some sort of like system like that, it's really good to know at this point in the process. But a lot of times they'll just include their email, which is really helpful too, because if you do have an embedded form, you'll know where that um, response needs to be going to. So that's really helpful. And then the next section of the form goes into more of the credentials that I'm going to need. So I ask them where they purchase their domain and then I give them my recommendations and then the username password. And then I also have a question, which is something I'm considering removing from this form moving forward. But basically I ask them, which platform do you prefer your website to be on? And then I send up a, I send a follow-up email on that question, which I have written right there that I followed up with them on this. But my choices are WordPress and show it. I, I like to give my clients the option to kind of see which one they're more comfortable with. And then on that follow-up email, I include the links to the demos of each of those platforms, just so they can kind of see like what they'd be getting themselves into. It is a long-term decision. So I want to make sure they're happy with the platform. And I don't really like to stick, you know, put myself in a box with just WordPress. Like I know how to work on all, all the other platforms. I just want them to feel comfortable. So I allow them to choose and then include the username and password. And I have run into some issues now that I'm thinking about it out loud with this question right here. When I say username or password for WordPress, sometimes they think that's a wordpress.com website, but most of the time that's a wordpress.org website. I typically like to recommend that they do wordpress.org and that they use like SiteGround, which is part of the Black Friday list. But SiteGround is my favorite hosting account. And I do have to educate them on like 
a hosting account will allow you to self-host your website, which I think is the whole reason that you might want to be on WordPress. So I do have to make sure that they understand that with the username and password, because that username and password would most likely be the hosting account information. And then we go into the communication style. So I ask them, how do you prefer to communicate during this service? And I do text, WhatsApp, or email. Um, I just like to make sure that they know that they need to be. So I say, please know you'll need to respond timely during this week for us to stay on track. So I like to make sure that they know whatever one they choose, they're going to have to be on that throughout the week. And then I have them put their phone number or the WhatsApp username or the preferred email. And then the last question of the form is, do you have any questions before the week begins? I'm all ears. And yeah, people do ask questions in that. Sometimes they want to know like, when they're going to need to be the most responsive, which most of the time it is every day of the week, but I would say mostly Monday, Tuesday is when I need all the feedback on the design. Wednesday, I'm just developing it, so I don't really need them to be around that much, but I do want them to be available at least at some point during the day. So sometimes I get that question, but overall, those are all my questions I like to ask in the preparation form. I feel like there's some I could add on to this, but it's really worked wonders for me this year. And like I said, I've this is a new service for me, but I've had around 10 different clients. And every time this form is like a savior for me, because if I'm in the middle of the week and I have questions, I can go back to that and see what they provided me. And it's a great place to like find the credentials and all of that. So I really enjoy the form. And if you're wondering, I do use Dubsado for the form. That's where I collect all the information and I'm able to open that and check that form out at any time. So it's really, really nice. They also can go into the form and edit it at any time, which is also really helpful. So I do enjoy it a lot. But I wanted to share that with you all today because I feel like I show my website in a week vlogs and I talk about it a lot, but there really is a lot of preparation involved to make the week go smoothly and this preparation form is one of those things. I'm actually about to head out in like 30 minutes. We're going to fly to my family's for Thanksgiving, but I wanted to provide you guys a little bit more content before the holiday, and I know that a lot of you have questions on website in a week, so I really hope that this was helpful to you, but I'm going to play with Leo before I head out. And definitely go check out that link down below the video with all the Black Friday deals that you might be interested in. No pressure at all. I just wanted to make it easy and not overwhelming with all the things going on. So thank you guys so much. I also wanted to make this video to like express my gratitude for you all for supporting me, for being here. And I really, really appreciate you all. So thank you so, so much. I'm so excited for next year. It's going to be so many fun things happening and I just, I cannot wait. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving or if you don't celebrate that, I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you in my next video. Take a train ride just to see